So the biggest slime of them all has came out and gave his words on a situation about Ghana. So for the longest amount of time, it looks like Young Thug has been quiet about the situation. And everybody's been wondering, is him and Young Thug still cool? Is him and Young Thug still cool? Of course, you got some of the artists. Well, a lot of the artists within the music industry who obviously all do selective politicking when it comes to who they believe is a snitch and who they believe is a rat. Some of them they'll rock with. Some of them they won't. Some of them they'll this some of them they won't it's just all a perspective on on okay what i think i can get this from them or whatever it may be but anyways a lot of them was saying just hold up and wait till young thug come out and say something before they said anything or before they made their decision which like i say i don't know if that's keeping the street cold because whether somebody else claims that somebody else is this or not if there's one way of doing it or one way of looking at it you should just have your own brain but of course within the music world a lot of artists don't actually have their own brain they actually go off you know when they're able to use their brain and the executives aren't like you know putting a battery in their back and forcing them to do all this other stuff that they probably don't want to do but they are signed to contracts anyways well it looks like young thug has now came out and pretty much said what he had to say and i'll get right into what he said which ain't looking too good for Ghana. right after the intro Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to Notification Game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. Well, of course, a lot of the rappers, you know what I'm talking about, wanted to say some stuff against Gunna, Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, you know what I'm talking about, just, just a couple of the rappers that, of course, have said something and wanted to say something well it looks like young thug sent a message to little baby and also little dirt and he told little baby listen little baby i know you finna drop a project you know what i'm talking about but i'm about to drop a project called business is business and what i want you to do if you want to respond to that mother can gonna tell old mother then here's what you do you respond and put it on my album you know what i'm talking about i'm locked up right now so i need that little extra help you put it on my album Actually, let me play y'all exactly what he said to Lil Baby, and then I'll play you what he said to Lil Dirt. I'm ready. Seti Nash exclusive. Yo, a Wham, if you if you thinking Seti about responding exclusive. to the little shit that Buddy put out, I don't want you to respond. I want you to respond Nash on my album. Exclusive. I got. I'm planning this. Um, I'm gonna drop this Seti spontaneous um <clears throat> album on the same Seti day you drop this album. Exclusive. I'm gonna name that shit. Now you know. So it's safe to say that King Slime is not rocking with Gunatello. Now, of course, there's a lot of people also saying, nah, man, this must be an AI or something like that because literally AI is doing so much damage and also just so much uh, pretending and faking within the music world that people have no clue of the, the, the so some of the songs that you're hearing is actually the artist or some of the words you're hearing is actually the artist. They're actually not knowing. Uh, but either way, like I say, if more details come out, we'll know. But this is what King Slime Young Thug had to say to Lil Dirk about Gunna as well. Hey Dirk, I know I want you on I'm dropping this I'm dropping this um <clears throat> this, this this um surprise album on the same day that same day Buddy dropped his album. It's coming up soon. I need a verse from you. If you if you feel like replying, if you feel like you want to reply to it that's saying or something, man, don't 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 do it. Let drop it on my album. I'm dropping a, a surprise album on the same day that nigga dropped. Send your verse in, bro. I want you and Wham on the same song. Send your verse in. Love, I love you, bro. You already know. I got this ice box where my heart used to be. Yeah, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so I'm so cold. It looks like Young Thugs now got an ice box where his heart used to be at for his love, Gunna. Because yes, of course, Young Thug did used to call all of his partners and homies love Bay and all this other stuff. Uh, but you know, tell me, it looks like his Bay has he feels as if his Bay has turned his back on him, uh, and it looks like a lot of other people believe his bay has turned his back on as well uh you know and with that being said we'll just have to see how it goes because gunna actually did repost young thugs project you know the business is business project he reposted it so who knows all we know this could be some big marketing plot but we'll just have to see how it goes let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out <laughs>